Hi, I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. So on this show, we're going to be summing up our series on behavioral styles and we're going to be covering the examiner. Now remember, this is all about how we act when we're networking, the ways that some people are faster, some slower, the ways we get on with people and not other people. Interestingly, this whole thing that we're learning also covers your life at home, sales management, conflict management, and your, your, just your relationships with your family and friends. So this is great material. So we're looking this time at examiners. Now our examiners are decisive paced or slower paced just like our nurturers. But the difference is that nurturers are all about people and relationships. Whereas examiners tend to be more about the task, tick boxes, getting the job done, how things work. They tend to be very analytical and they love research. Probably as kids they took apart all their toys to find out what worked inside. Um, they like to know the why behind things and they're perfectionists. I like to think of the, the TV shows like CSI where you've got all these people that go into the depth and they spend hours and hours and hours trying to find out the exact thing that worked. Mind you on CSI not everybody dresses like an examiner but the whole show leads to that sort of profession. Examiners tend to be a lot more reserved. So when you do go to networking events, uh, you, you won't necessarily see them talking to many people. In fact, I've been at events where I've seen examiners running away from people because they're just so uncomfortable with lots of people. They tend to wear dated clothes. So their clothes can often be good quality, but it tends to be a little bit older because they don't believe in shopping and they're about return on investment. So they'll often wear something and wear it and wear it and wear it until it falls apart. <laughs> they like darker clothes, again, so they can mix and match, they don't have to go shopping. And again, they're often awkward in networking events. So you'll see them often standing here like this because that's a defense mechanism. Uh, and so crossed hands is often a sign for examiners. If you want to network with a, an examiner, you need to show them you're a serious business person, that you make sound decisions for your business, that you have integrity, that you can run a profitable business. And by the way, they're also very suspicious that they're going to be wondering why you're talking to them. One of the biggest turnoffs for an examiner is when people smile too much. If you smile too much with an examiner, they probably won't trust you because you're thinking you're trying to manipulate them. So examiners, we need to realize that we're very, very reserved here. And just because somebody's being friendly doesn't mean they're trying to get anything out of us. They could just be starting to be friendly. So examiners, realize that sometimes we need to lift up our energy levels a little bit, talk a little bit more about people and relationships, and move slightly away from the business if we want to build relationships. So that's this week's show. So to summarize, over the last few episodes, we've looked at go-getters who are fast-paced, task-orientated. We've looked at promoters who are fast-paced, people, and very fun-loving. We've looked at the nurturers who are more decisive and people-orientated. And this week, the examiners who are, again, decisive and more task-orientated. So I'm pretty sure you've come away with some great material here on how you can start to improve your relationships with people who are just not like us. Remember, if you want to know more, contact me directly at phil at the referralinstitute-me.com and we'll open a dialogue to see how we can help you further. There's some more great material coming up on the future shows, Rebel Network. Music